I want them. Very blessed to, to live with, the, with these beautiful birds in my backyard. I love birds. But imagine I brought a bird in the house. It had a cage. He's sitting there, and he's looking out the window. And he's in a cage getting fed, but they're out there scraping and scrapping every day. They can eat one worm, or they can find, uh, he can eat 20, depending on a day's hunt. Or seeds, or whatever they're going for out there. But they're free. And the cage bird sitting there saying, huh, I got it good. I'm sitting in this cage. I can't fly anywhere, can't go anywhere, but uh, I'm well taken care of. Well, that's the average Christian in bondage to the law. They aren't free in Christ. They're sitting in a cage. A cage that they constructed called legalism. In bondage. They're being fed by Rufus Glitter Teeth. I mean... <laughs> Smiley Saw, Rufus Glitter Teeth, and the New Age Baylor. They've been fed in a cage. In bondage, you don't even realize. And, and, and refuse to get out there and fly on the wings of faith. Refuse. And because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the spirit of son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore thou art no more servant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of Christ, an heir of God through Christ. I want to be an heir of God. I want to be an heir of Christ. I don't care if I found out, see, I went and did some research and find out that some of my descendants were Jews. I'm not going to pick up the Torah and start keeping the Sabbath and all the ritualistic uh things of the law, the rudiments of the law get entangled in that again. I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm free in Christ. I love being free in Christ. He the Son sets free is free indeed. I wouldn't return to the meek and weak and beggarly elements of the law that brings forth bondage and produces hypocrisy. Wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son. I don't want to be a servant. I want to be a son. And if a son, and you want to be a daughter, and that's our son. And an heir of God through Christ. I'm an heir of God through Christ. I want an inheritance that will not fade away. I don't want to get under, become a slave under bondage, and it fade away and I go to hell because curses anyone. They don't keep it <clears throat> to keep the whole law. That which is written in it from every jot and tittle from start to finish. The law is guaranteed death for not keeping it. And if you the Bible says curses anyone under the law that doesn't keep it. In other words, that word is used for curse is a, is a word where it's pushing you down to hell. Unless Christ get between you and this, you're going to hell, friend. You only deceive in yourself. The law and grace don't mix. That's like oil and water don't mix. And because ye are sons of God, have sent forth the spirit of the Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Howbeit then, when ye knew not God, ye did not service unto them, which by nature are no gods. You had a conscience. God created, you know, that's why these bonehead evolutionists are just what they are, boneheads. Anytime you can't look and see all this creation and order of things around you and just studying just uh, uh, the human anatomy itself and studying nature itself, studying anything you want to study, God created itself. Couldn't the, law, the laws of the, of the universe that's in possession of the equinoxes and everything else, there's order to this universe. There ain't no haphazard big bang blowing up random chaos and order comes out of it. BS. We all got computer chips and programs in us designed by a creator that is very, 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 very complex. <laughs> Just study the blood. It's like a, a rat trap that you're trying to say 
every mechanism in that rat trap is, is engineered and designed if one piece is taken out the rat trap won't work well that's our plan very 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 complicated you even study the blood on how the blood coagulates when you believe in God because any miss whatsoever can cause clots and kill you in the heart, the brain, anywhere else. Very, 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 very complicated. There's no, of course, I believe in, hey, I would believe in God just for studying the human anatomy. Just study the hummingbird, I believe in God. Just studying, if you just study seeds and how they germinate, you believe in God. God got DNA computer chips and everything with timing for everything. It's everything. It just it's mind boggling. That's why he's a great God. <clears throat> the, the, the psalmist said, it. "Beholding when I behold what your hands have created, how complicated things are, how glorious things are, the beauty of your of your creation. I'm humbled. What is man that you're mindful of him?" And did you, the son of man, did you come and visit? Said the psalmist. But now, after that, ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? Where until you desire again to be in bondage? I guess let a slave be a slave. What can you say? Ye observe days and months and times and years. I'm going right back to keep the Sabbaths. Blah, blah, blah. Right right back into chains and bondage. And I'm afraid of you. <laughs> Paul said you scared me to death. I'm afraid of you, lest I have bestowed up on you labor in vain. He said, I, did I do all this teaching for naught? What was this all about? For you to return and, get, and put yourselves in chains and go back under the curse of the law. Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am, for I am as ye are. Ye have not injured me at all. You ain't hurting me. You know how through affirmities of the flesh I preach the gospel unto you first. And my temptation which was in my flesh ye despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. He said, you looked up on me with high esteem. I sacrifice to get to you, to give you this message. And you held me high as you did Christ. Where is then the blessedness she spake of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. He said, you showed me so much respect, you would have took your eyes out your head and handed, it to, handed them to me if I asked you. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Now you want to change horses in the middle of the stream on They zealously affected you, but not well, yea, they that would exclude you that ye might affect them. But it is good to be zealously affected always in good faith, and not only when I'm present with you. My little children of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. Christ is formed in your heart by faith. Faith. Faith, I desire to be present with you now and to change my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. Tell me, ye, that ye desire to be under the law. Do not ye hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by bondsmaid, the other by a free woman. Abraham produced Ishmael, which is the father of the Arab. He went to Hagar, who was an Egyptian woman that was given to him. Remember the Egyptian woman was given to him, Hagar, by when he went down and sinned in Egypt. God, in a king, he almost slept with Sarah, his wife, uh, prostituting her out. <laughs> Abraham lied and said, that's my sister. And, uh, hey, if you got to sleep with him, Sarah, do what you got to do. But I saved my neck. You know, I can get killed because you, you're really fine, Sarah. You're you're a gorgeous looking woman here. Uh, 
they have to take my head off for you. So uh, do what you got to do. So anyway, God intervened and uh, put a plague on the on Egypt for uh, Sarah's sake, spared her that humiliation. Anyway, he came out rich, and part of his riches was a harem of women, which are slave women. A harem ain't nothing but slaves. Slave women, that's all. Slave wives, concubines, whatever. They're slave women, servant girls. They'd be used for sex or whatever. Anyway, he had a meeting with his wife Sarah, and they agreed that they both were old, they were poor, he was he was uh, approaching a century by now, and he didn't think God had the faith to think God would have him and his old wife conceive. So he thought he helped God out by going to screw Hagar in a tent and got knocked up and got pregnant and uh, produced Ishmael. And that was his flesh, what he produced in the flesh, trying to help God out, make God look good. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. The one by a bondsmaid, the other by a free woman. And he who was of the bondswoman was born after the flesh. But he that was a free woman was of the promise. God said, I'm I'm not reckoning, I'm you know, I'll bless him and give him twelve princes. The Arabs, you know, they'll have some wealth. But I'm not recognizing him. I'm recognizing my seed is gonna come through Isaac, which was the main seed was Christ. The promised seed. He was of the free woman as of the promise, which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which represented Ishmael, producing in the flesh self-righteousness, which gendered to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai. Paul uses the analogy that this bond woman in bondage represents Mount Sinai and answers to Jerusalem which now is and is in bondage with her children but Jerusalem which is above is a free which is the mother of us all for it is written rejoice thou barren bearest not break forth and cry thou that travailest for the desolate have many more children than that she which has an husband for ye brethren as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born. That's why self-righteous Pharisees, these uh, Ishmaelites are always going to persecute you. These legalistic Ishmaelites. They're always going to, uh, until this day, the children of free are being persecuted by the Ishmaelites. They're legalistic, in bondage, thou shall not. And there's different forms of thou shall not religions around the world. Not I always single out a lot of the of the church world, the Christian church world, that's been captured. But you got uh, other various religions too around the world, including Islam that's in bondage. Thou shall not this, thou shall not that. Another a Mount Sinai. And you got various other sects that spin off of the Christian church world in bondage. A whole bunch of them. Keeping Sabbaths and moons and that God, Christ Jesus, had delivered us from. Now we brethren, as Isaac was born, are the children of promise. But as them, he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Even so it is now. Isn't that what happened with Jesus? Ain't that what the Pharisee legalist law keeping body did to him? Sadducees, scribes. Children of the free, that's in faith, always going to be persecuted by the children of bondage. That's the church world included. Nevertheless, what saith he to the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son. What the scripture said. Throw them out. <laughs> and that's what I do. Yes, sir, God. I've been doing it all my life. I spot one. They get the boot through the uprights so fast their head spin. 
I'm ruthless on her. Cast her out. Cast out the bondwoman and her son. Get rid of her production too. Throw the mother of the religion out as well as the products of the religion, the children. The children of the free can't deal, or can't dwell. The children of the free cannot dwell with the children of bondage. The two don't mix like oil and water. And I've been, I'm, I'm famous. I, I spot one, you're gone. Because I know what you're going to do. You know what you're going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to torture me. That's what you've done most of my life. <laughs> I, I told you God sent me uh, as a spy on the inside. <laughs> I, I had some royal torture. They would call me everything but a child God. <laughs> Including Lucifer. See, because of them, if you don't walk in a duck line, like a good little duckling, you're going to be vilified. They're going to torture you. Cast out the bondwoman and her son. For the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. The two cannot mix. We're children of the free. That's why I'm out here on this street corner called Street Priest Ministry. I don't want nothing to do with no legalists. I don't want nothing to do with no Pharisees. I don't want nothing to do with the bond woman's mother as well as her children. We do not mix. It's instant war. You come in within my sphere of influence, even in my life. Like I said, I'd rather deal with pagans and heathens as friends than to deal with a self-righteous Pharisaical Christian. Oh, brother. I know you're about to do it to me. You're about to do it to me as soon as you say that. Brother. Mm -hmm. Brothers. <laughs> Look out. I find the heathen that's been made more honorable, keeping their word. Christians will lie to you in a minute. They don't like to pay you. You loan them money. They don't want to give it back. God will bless you, brother. I've heard that a many times. Don't worry. God will bless you. No jackass. I, God bless me no, no matter what. But I don't have to have you rob me under the skirts of Jesus to be blessed. And hide under the skirts of Jesus. I tell you, it's been my life. I had You have no idea. One day, maybe I'll write a book of my horrific experience of dealing with the so-called church world. That's why I'm out here on this corner all alone. <laughs> Just God and I. <laughs> and a few of you that's following the street priest ministry. Because you feel the same way. Birds of a feather flock together. What can I say? My crowd feel, has been persecuted just like me by this, by this bond woman and her slave child. Cast out the bond woman and her son. For the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, the brethren, so then, brethren, we are not children of the bond woman, but of the free. Amen, Pastor Paul. Now, I'm going to read one more. I'm going to let Christ finish this off. It ain't done yet. This is like a marathon for us normally. It is a quick drive through, but I want to hammer this home. But this is one of my pet peeves here. This is this is coming from Brother Jay. Some Pharisee repellent. Especially mixed by Brother Jay. And you play this. When they come around, put put me on. They haven't sit listening. I'll run them out your house. Guarantee they don't want nothing to do with you. This is repellent right here. Pharisee repellent. I should have titled this fellow. Should have titled this Pharisee repellent. <laughs> no, the title is to say the letter killer. Was it done? Now here's Pastor Jesus preaching. Now he feel about self righteous Pharisees trying to keep the law and, and torturing us. Then spake Jesus. So you know it's Pastor Jesus talking. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, "Describe to the Pharisees." Sit in Moses' seat. 
All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, but ob that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and they do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Now Christ is saying, because he hadn't died yet. But once he died, that was it. We we're out of that bondage of keeping the law. But he said, okay, he observed the law. Because he hadn't passed away yet for our sin. He hadn't paid the price of resurrection. He said, yeah, up until then, yeah. But then he said, don't, fo don't, don't follow their footsteps because they're crooked. But all their words they do for to be seen of men. Ain't that most, most self-righteous jackasses, this brand in the pool pits? They got these white suits on. These smiley saws. These uh, Rufus Glitter Tees. New Age Balaams. Isn't it, is all this brand behind the pool pit to be seen in men? They look like a bunch of jackasses brand to me. I can't stand them and I can't watch them. I remove them from my presence. Even if I'm flipping by a channel, they got one of them brand jackasses on. I would spin by it so quick, their head spin. I don't want to see them. I already know what they're saying. I already know what they're doing. <laughs> been in the, I've been around the block several times. I censored them myself and been censored. They ain't saying nothing new. They ain't saying nothing new that they ain't been brand since my early church days. Matter of fact, I've been around some of them. They don't even know it. I've been in the presence of some of them. <laughs> God, God just had me like a little spy. I've seen from the inside. Yes, I have. I ain't going to name no names. No, I don't name drop. You know, Brother Jay don't. But I, it's like I've been around a lot of entertainers that didn't know who I was. I've been in their presence too. Oh, yeah, I got to see behind the scenes. <laughs> what they're like. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders that they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't have sex, don't do this. And they doing it all behind the scenes and then some. Shoot, they have a menage a trois. They have an orgies. Shoot, I talk about you done to have sex with one partner. Shoot, they got several. Some of them get up uh, uh, Bisexual, some trisexual, some gay. Uh, been a lot of them come out out of the closet because God's been exposing a lot of them for the hypocrisy. God's hate hip God hate hip hip God. Well, I can't even get it out fast enough. God hate hypocrites just like me. I can't stand. Get uh, that video once again. Thou hypocrite. Check out that video. To show you how much I can't stand. Them. Keep it real, brother. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They love it. The fancy jets, the fancy clothes, the sold out arenas. They're like rock stars. They're like rock stars. But all their works they do to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries. I just talked about that earlier. They love to show off how much... How much Bible thumping they can do. How many verses they can rattle off. And enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms at the feast. Oh, they they, they live lavish. Some shall say, like kings. These uh, highfalutin. Rufus Glitter Tees. And Smiley Saws. And New Age Babes. They're in, they're in the company of billionaires and millionaires. And you poor peasants, as they bring the trash cans around to the arena for you to fill up with money and supporting their lifestyle. You ain't getting no gospel. You're getting enter entertainment. They're entertainers. With their book sellings and their book writings and their book clubs. Talking about thieves in the temple that Jesus need to clear out and horse whip them up out of there. Boy, you come today, you have a lot of horse whipping to do. Oh, 
get that video too. Thieves in the Temple. And love the uppermost rooms of the feast, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greeting in the markets, and to be called rabbi, which means master. Love these titles. Quote, unquote, I'm father, so-and-so. Jesus said, call no man father. We only got one father in heaven. I don't call, I call no man reverend. Only God's to be reverence. Reverend is holy as his name, says the psalmist. I don't call no man reverend. I'll call you brother. If you're lucky. If you are a brother. <laughs> if I don't have no respect for you, I'll call you Mr. something. And greetings in the market and to be called rabbi. But be ye not called rabbi. For one is your master. Even Christ and all ye are brethren. That's why I'm called Brother Jay. I'm a brother. Brother Jay. Brethren. I, I refuse to be called. I don't really like to be called. Uh, even though I am a pastor. I don't even like to be called that. Let's call me Brother Jay. I'm comfortable with that. Damn sure don't call me Reverend. <laughs> Might get cussed out. <laughs> Damn. Ain't no pastor can cuss. <laughs> Find out quick. You can catch me off this camera. I do it for the children's sake. <laughs> I'm rated G for the children's sake. And you should too. It's proper thing to do. But be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father up on earth. Father this, father that, no. You ain't no father. One my father, in, my father's in heaven. And I'm about my father's biz that dwells in heaven. I ain't calling no man father. Call no man father up on earth. For one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters. For one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that humbles himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you Pharisees and hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. You are cop blockers for the kingdom of heaven. You put up a wall so high with your thou shall not this and thou shall not that. And that includes the jackasses that's in the Christian church world that think they're keeping the law and preaching the law. That you ain't keeping. It only breeds hypocrisy. But you keep those out that would get in. Making the standard so high and the wall so high. Which creates, creates greater hypocrisy. You just become a self-righteous jackass. That's pretty much it. On the way to hell. And you got a bunch of the blind believers of the blind all falling to the ditch. So you got a bunch going with you. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites. For ye... Devour widows' houses, and for pretense make long prayer. A widow, you got nobody to leave that money to. Just donate it to Rufus Glitter Teeth Ministries. God will bless you and your family for doing that. Give us your inheritance. Oh yeah, they doing that. Praying on the widows, praying on the poor. He's entitled... Jackass Pharisees are getting the poor to, to leave them their inheritance. <laughs> Especially ones that don't have no children and no one to leave it to. Oh yeah, leave it, leave it to us. So they can buy another jet and help create quote unquote global warming. <laughs> it's amazing. The biggest hypocrites on the planet are flying around in Learjet telling us to take a to go back to horseback in a buggy while they're flying around in Learjet. Hypocrites. That's what he's dealing with here. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites. For ye devour widows' houses and for pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive a greater damnation. <laughs> Your reward's damnation. It's going to hell. What you going to? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte, one convert, 
You go all around the world, get one. And when he is made, you make him two, four more the child of hell than yourself. You make him twice as hellish as you. Woe unto you. It's like these, these jackass, Rufus Glitter Tees, Smiley Saws, and New Age Betas got their, got their little uh, proselytes under them. Making them two four more child of hell. Maybe they're going to come out worse. Worse hypocrites. Worse embezzlers of God's sheep in their possession. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a tempter, straining nets and swallow camels. Ye fools and blind. This is Jesus talking. By the way, this is Pastor Jesus talking. Yeah, old nice loving Jesus. Ye fools and blind. For whether is greater the gold of the temple that sanctified the gold. What is greater, the temple or the gold that sanctified the temple? How they pervert that. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gift that on the altar is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift on the altar or that the sanctified the gift. Whosoever therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it and by all things thereof. Jesus is using common sense with us. Some most of these legalists don't do use as they beat you over here with legalism. They used to have debates among the Pharisees whether you could eat an egg or not on the Sabbath, uh, whether the Chicken labored to make the egg or not. That's how petty they became. Petty. Most legalists are petty. Petty, petty, petty. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that swear by the heaven, swear by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you. The Bible says swear.